How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now with Horizon 7000 just around the corner, pretty much AMD is doing a little live event later today. We'll get into the time and all of that. But what do we actually know about the new X670 platform? So the upcoming X670 boards will feature the new AM5 LGA 1718 socket that will have the connection pins on the board instead of the CPU like Intel. Previously, if you bent the pins on your CPU, accidentally installing it the wrong way around or whatever, you needed to buy a new CPU. However, now you can at least buy a new board, which is slightly bit cheaper. Sometimes some boards are really, really expensive, but at least that is an option now. Now also, AM5 does not support any of the previous generation AMD CPUs. AM4 was really a nice supporting almost every CPU from way back with Ryzen 1000 all the way up to Ryzen 5000. There were some limitations between some of the CPUs and APUs and so on, but they did support majority of the CPUs. However, now AMD did state that they would like it to support CPUs for the next four to five years at the least. So maybe up to Ryzen 11,000 will be supported if they don't skip a name between those. But also the AM5 platform will reportedly support a DDR5 5200 megahertz memory and unfortunately no support for DDR4. With the Z690 Intel platform, we were able to get some boards that supported DDR4, but with DDR5 becoming more available and also prices being okay, <laughs> still pretty expensive, honestly, it possibly won't be that big of a problem later on down the line. Now also AM5 will support up to 28 PCI Express lanes, which is the standard for the new PCI Express R5 connections, and then also increase NVMe 4.0 speeds and a possibly even a USB for support. That one I'm really looking forward to. Now, a memory overclocking will be smoother as well thanks to EXPO, which stands for Extended Profiles for Overclocking, as well as featuring a smart access storage that will enable GPU decompression with supported Microsoft Direct storage games. Now, initially, there will be four chip options, the X670E, which will be the extreme range for overclockers and ballers who just want to go all out and get all of the features on the new AM5 platform. It will feature fully PCI Express of 5 for all of your GPUs and storage and all of that. Then next up, there's the X670 non-EE boards, which is more for us enthusiasts who want majority of the features but don't necessarily need everything. Just a normal a single PCI Express 5 slot for our GPU and maybe for us one storage device, and that's all we need. Now for this range, some boards will feature more or less depending on the cost to save a bit more because again, we don't need necessarily everything like maybe having PCI Express up four instead of five for our storage because there isn't really currently any PCI Express 5 SSDs available, so you might save a bit there, or you, if you want to, you can future-proof. Then next up, there's also going to be the B650E and B650 boards as well. Same applies for these, where the E version will be for more extreme and overclocking focus and all of that, whereas the B650 is more going to be for a, a mid-range board. Again, it, it's going to depend on the pricing and features and all of that but it's the same with the b550 we currently have so it's going to be a nice a sweet spot for any of the horizon 6s or even some horizon 7s now at this time asus a gigabyte msi asrock and biostar have unavailed some of their up and coming x670 and also x670e boards no b650e or b650 normal boards yet now all of these boards will range from their budget all the way up to the flagships like msi's x670e godlike which is again going all all out and even some of these boards are engineered to the max to support over 1000 watts of power just for the cpu even though the top of the range ryzen 9 7950x will only have a tdp of 170 watts now again that's without overclocking anything 
but a thousand watts. <laughs> so that is a pretty much it. Now the release date is expected on the 15th of September or around in the 20th, around there. But AMD again will have an availing event today at 7 p.m. Eastern time or 1 a.m. the next day for me here in South Africa. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to actually know what's going on. But uh, if you guys want to find out more about all of the newly announced boards, have more descriptions and specs on them, I will leave a link in the video description, as well as a link to the live stream event. And then also, let me know guys, if you are actually planning to upgrade to the new Ryzen 7000 platform, or you're just going to stick on where you are and possibly, uh, or rather wait for maybe Intel. Let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll check all of you next time. Cheers guys.